this is where my Nihilus sits. These are just some of my intergalactic characters. I just got Drax, my Super Scroll, um, uh, Silver Surfer, my Galactus, which is still pretty cool. I the of worlds. And then I got my Nihilus. But, uh, yeah. I, so, I haven't talked about Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes in uh, quite a bit. But, um, I've been watching season two, um, we're up to episode 14 right now, this show is so sick, they must have released like three or four episodes this past week, because, uh, otherwise, I think I, I had seen uh, all of them, um, but yeah, this, uh, this, uh, season's really nice, uh, I'm just gonna talk about, uh, episode 11 through 14, cause that's the ones I just watched and I don't feel like going back over everything. Um, although this is, this is just a general picture that they released a while ago. This is going to happen sometime closer to the end of the season, I guess. Um, characters that, uh, I'll just give quick updates. The soldier they showed, um, him, the Falcon, and Red Hulk, who's not in this picture, seem to be working together for something, and Red Hulk doesn't seem to be General Ross like he is in the comics. Um, Miss Marvel, Moonstone, or, well, she's not actually Miss, Mo she's not, uh, Moonstone, she is Carol Danvers, um, she's a member of the Avengers, uh, Quake, she was, uh, working with, uh, Nick Fury as one of the Secret Warriors, uh, during the, uh, Skrull invasion, um, Yellowjack, we haven't actually seen up here yet, but, uh, when, right here, we can see Ant-Man 2, um, that is, a who is it, it's, a O'Grady, or, no it's not, I don't know, it's uh, one of the other people who's been Ant-Man, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, in the episode that had him, showed Hank Pym in his lab, and in the background there was like a bee cage, so that was nice, they were in that same episode, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, uh, um, and then I'll be talking about Vision in a second, and War Machine they haven't shown at all, same with Wolverine, and then Spider-Man they showed recently, so I'll go over him too. Um, but anyway, in, um, episode 11, uh, it was really the beginning of the Skrull invasion. Episode 10, uh, it was all about, uh, Captain America, like, getting home, because he was away, he was trapped as, uh, Skrull, pr Skrull prisoner. So then episode 11 happened, and, uh, the secret warriors were, like, attacked and stuff like that by Skrulls, and, uh, Iron Man got the, uh, extremist virus, or, well, actually, it wasn't the extremist virus, but they, like, put some virus into him. The Skrulls did. And, um, that happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kind of distracted, though. Like, because I don't really remember episode 11 all that much. 11 and 12 kind of are combined for me, because they're both about the secret invasion. And it was nice and short and to the point, just like how it was in the comics. Um, in the comics, the whole uh, secret invasion happened in one day. Um, like, the whole, like, main part, like, the whole battle and whatnot, um, so 11 and 12 basically took care of that, um, saw Cap, he was fighting his scroll version of himself, in episode 11, there was a moment where, uh, Miss Marvel was kind of, like, tricked by, like, a full squad of scrolls pretending to be the Avengers, um, but she ended up figuring out they weren't the real ones and whatnot, uh, so yeah, and then, after that, after the whole secret invasion was over, during the secret invasion, Captain America, the Skrull one, had uh, gone on national TV and it, like was broadcast broadcasting everywhere in like the whole world basically, um, saying that uh, the Skrulls are peaceful and they're just trying to help. So as long as we like let them, then we'll be fine or something like that. But it wasn't. It was obviously it was the Skrull version. So um, then after episode twelve and episode thirteen. Um, uh, that was the episode that featured Spider-Man. Um, all the people, like, all the civilians were, like, super pissed at Cap, and everyone was, like, hating on him and stuff like that. And, um, Cap and Spider-Man were able to kind of relate on that level, because Spider-Man's always kind of being called a menace and stuff by the Daily Bugle. And, like, uh, Cap was being called, a, like, uh, they were gonna call him Benedict Arnold at the Daily Bugle. Um, but yeah. Uh, and the voicing for Spidey, I'm not positive, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was the same guy who does the voice acting for Ultimate Spider-Man, um, which I also need to go back and watch all those episodes, whatever we're at right now, um, that show is decent, but, you know, 
Earth Mightiest Heroes is much better. Um, so that episode, they were facing the Serpent Society and Constrictor and Viper and uh, other members of the Serpent Society, I guess. Um, they were all fighting and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, a couple civilians were trapped with uh, Captain America and Spider-Man underground. And um, they ended up like helping Cap and Spidey. And then they ended up, well, not really defeating the Serpent Society, but the Serpent Society ended up leaving, basically. Uh, so, and then, like, the next day in the newspapers, it said that Captain America um, saved civilians and defeated uh, Spider-Man along with the Serpent Society or something like that. So still hating on Spidey. Um, but that was a good episode. I liked it a lot. I thought Spider-Man's character was done a lot better my opinion in this show versus uh, Ultimate Spider-Man um, definitely different animation style so uh, like Spidey's nose really protruded in this in Earth's Mighty Heroes um, and near the end of Secret Invasion I would also like to add that uh, Thor came back we saw Thor rocking the modern armor basically um, so that was cool Thor came back from uh, outer space Quote unquote, uh, he came back from Asgard to help out during Secret Invasion. Um, so, yeah, and then in episode 14, um, if you guys remember, at the end of season one, uh, Captain America's shield was destroyed by Loki, so the scroll cap had been rocking the uh, photon shield. Um, so, in episode uh, 13, um, well, actually, in episode 12, uh, the real Cap destroyed the photon shield that was on, uh, the scroll's wrist. Um, so in episode, uh, 13, he was using the, uh, old school one, like the original shield the Cap had. And it was, like, getting dented and stuff like that. Um, so then in 14, uh, Wakanda, Black, uh, the, Bla the Black Panther took, a uh, Cap, Hawkeye, and... Cap, Hawkeye, Thor, and I feel like someone else. No, no one else. It was just Cap, Hawkeye, and Thor um, with Black Panther. And they were in Wakanda, and they knew how to fix uh, Captain America's shield. So though they were trying to work on that, but Vision showed up. And um, in the very beginning of the episode, he showed up at a Weapon X facility, and he like took out all the people there to get adamantium. And he kept on, like... Uh, like, just kind of talking to himself because he's a robot. And he's like, adamantium acquired, um, blah, blah, blah. Next assessment or next assignment, uh, get vibranium or whatever. So that's why he was there. He was also trying to get Cap's shield, um, which was destroyed. But, uh, so they were having trouble facing him. Like, they just kept on fighting. And one of the funny moments, um, Vision, like, it is after they had been fighting Vision for a second. And Vision's like... Attempting to assess why they uh, continue to fight or something. He said something along those lines. And Thor's like, sh Thor says something to him. And then he's like, uh, he's like, there's no probable reason for them to continue fighting when they can, when they can see that they cannot touch me. It was kind of a funny little moment. Um, cause Vision, as you guys know, can go intangible and whatnot, like, stuff like that. Um, but at the end, uh, well, at, there was this one moment where he was talking to Wasp because he attacked Avengers Mansion, for, Avengers Mansion looking for uh, Cap's shield there first, and Wasp was there along with Jane Foster. They were, like, just chilling or whatever. Um, he said something to Wasp. Like, she asked, who are you? And he was like, I am my master's vision of destruction or something like that, and that was cool. Uh, I think he said that to Wasp. I'm pretty sure. Um, but then at the end... Um, he was reaching for Cap's shield, and, uh, Black Panther turned on the, th like, the machine that was supposed to fix Cap's shield, and, like, it did, and, like, as it was fixing it, uh, Vision's arm was, like, in the, like, wave of where it was going, and his arm, like, got kind of destroyed. Like, the, the actual, like, main, quote-unquote, skeleton was still there, but, like, all the stuff around it was, like, all destroyed, and it messed up with his, uh, density working so he couldn't go intangible for a while and they were just beating the crap out of him it was uh thor smacking down on him it was uh hawkeye at this point hawkeye's bow was gone so he's like uh 
just like punching him and like blowing up arrows on him and stuff like that. Um, we had Cap beating him up with the shield because the shield was working now. And uh, Black Panther was also slicing at him and stuff. And then at the very end of the fight, uh, Vision was able, like Vision was getting beat down, and he originally he was like. 99.999% chance of success, and as he was getting beat down, it just kept on going down, and the very last one that he said was 0.013% or something along those lines, percent chance of uh, success, so like he ended up fixing his density thing, and then he just left, um, and then at the very end it showed he was talking to Ultron, and Ultron's like, uh, I have built you to be my... Uh, to be the ultimate uh, incarnation of destruction or something like that. And then he's like, however, your failure doesn't really matter. Because with the... Uh, he did manage to get the um, adamantium. So with that, uh, Ultron like made a full adamantium body. You see at the end, he's just like kind of looking at it. And he's like, now I'm, uh, I'll be undestructible or something like that. So um, that was really cool. Uh, great four episodes this whole season has been amazing um like i was talking about red hulk and uh winter soldier and uh falcon that happened in i believe episode nine it's kind of off the story or whatever but uh red hulk uh like he was winter soldier was like infiltrating as well as like falcon they were doing stuff they were only there for like split seconds a piece but red hulk was there and he's like destroying the hell he was like attacking the hell of the carrier basically um if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Hulk is uh, nowhere to be found right now. Uh, Hulk, they don't know where he is. Um, he got taken by General Ross and his Hulkbuster unit because um, Cap, the Scroll Cap, convinced him to go down to Bruce Banner so that it wouldn't look. Because they had all assumed, everyone thought that it was uh, the real Hulk who had attacked the thing, not Red Hulk. So um, he, uh, Scroll Cap, convinced. Hulk to go back down to Bruce Banner, and then he was taken custody, and he was, like, uh, incapacitated, so he was, like, or he was knocked out, so he was unconscious and stuff like that, so no one knows where he is at this point, like, no one does, um, and I thought something cool during, uh, it was either episode 11 or 12, I think it was 12, um, Maria Hill was getting attacked by some scrolls, and, um, it ended up being a life model decoy, just like it was in the comics during, uh, Secret Invasion, so that was cool. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say, I guess. Um, yeah, I've been rambling on for about 12 minutes, but this is a great season. If you guys haven't seen these episodes, then you should not have been listening to me talk about them. You should have been watching them. Um, great series. I love it. I can't wait for it to continue. I can't wait to see what they need all these people for, you know what I mean? I Like, everyone, this was released uh, near the beginning of the season, maybe before the season. So everyone speculated that this was going to be, like, all these people would come together for Secret Invasion. But they didn't. So, I don't know. Maybe there's there's going to be something like maybe a Galactus or a Thanos or something big like that. Um, we'll see. I uh, can't wait, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, it is Wednesday, and I just got back from the comic book shop. Um, picked up Dark Avengers, a.k.a. Thunderbolts, issue 175. Um, Thunderbolts is transferring over to the Dark Avengers title, um, I believe so from here on out. It should just say Dark Avengers, not Thunderbolts. Um, but yeah, eh, I don't know. We got Clor, the Clone Thor, uh, Scar, and, uh, I don't know what this guy's name is. I never remember it, but, um, he's got six arms. <laughs> um, we of course have Norman Osborn. Um, so far I believe he hasn't gotten a hold of a, uh, armor yet. I believe, um, I'm not sure, uh, who else is in there? We got someone taking over for, um, Scarlet Witch and someone taking over for Miss Marvel, I believe? And I think that's basically the team, um, but yeah, these guys are some of the heavy hitters, especially, uh, Thor, the Clor. He was whooping on, uh, the new Avengers last time I saw him. Oh, and there's also a, uh, Wolverine, who is, uh, some guy. I don't remember who he is. But we got Thunderbolts. I'm about to read this. Um, Carnage USA, issue 5 of 5. This came out quite a while back. Uh, my comic shop uh, 
tracked one down for me, so this is the last part of the Carnage USA series. Um, this is the only one that I needed. Um, they had, uh, this is kind of off topic, but they had um, the Age of Apocalypse, the first five issues, and I was going to pick them up, but I decided not to. Um, instead, I decided, because you guys saw that I had that uh, that trade paperback for, what was that, one of the Siege books. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. So what I was going to do was I was going to pick up one of the other Siege books that they had there. But they only had three, and all, I had all of them. They had Siege, Battlefield, Embedded, and X Men. So I already had, I already have all those three. So um, I decided not to get any of those, obviously. And I was looking at um, I wanted to get uh, they had the full complete clone series from uh, Spider Man, but uh, that was forty bucks and it was really thick. So I'm gonna probably save up for that at some point. But um, I decided to trade that out for the Mighty Avengers. Um, Venom Bomb. This is right after Civil War and uh, it's around the beginning of uh, Secret Invasion. But um, it looks cool. I mean, it's in the bag, so I couldn't really read anything. Um, just because I don't like you open it up in the store, you know. But um, yeah, hopefully this is cool. Um, Venom's one of my favorite characters, so we'll see how this is. Hell yeah! This is hot as hell. Um. Yeah, this is pretty much amazing. Um, this is going to be the San Diego Comic Con 2012 uh, Marvel Legends exclusive. And it's a three pack. This shit looks hot, dude. This is this is epic. Uh, or at least we're not positive. It's not really positive. It doesn't actually have a San Diego Comic Con sticker, which means I mean it might not even be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um. I don't really know, but uh, in Wave 3, which comes out in November or December or something like that, um, we're going to be getting a uh, X-Force Deadpool. So then, now they're showing us this 3-pack. We got X-Force Wolverine, which um, <clears throat> it looks like it's the same uh, like torso as the Series 6 Wolverine, but they changed out uh, the arms and the legs. The legs look like bucky cap legs. Um, the arms, eh, the arms could potentially be the same. They built us a new Psylocke off of the Hasbro body. That's sick. That looks pretty nice. Um, can't see the head sculpt too well in this picture. And then we got the X-Force Archangel, which, um, looks nice. Uh, the wings really just look like an upscale of MU, which is badass, because those MU wings are sick as hell. And this figure looks, all these figures look that nice nice paint and um something i like that they did is um with wolverine um and psylocke they kind of gave the gray effect and it seems like that's probably what they're going to be doing for deadpool too they haven't showed it but then on uh archangel they gave it the silver effect so that's badass um everyone's pretty hype about this i can't wait to get it um if this is a san diego comic con exclusive which doesn't seem like it'll be um i'm gonna have to have get someone if it is though i'm gonna have Probably, I'm going to try and get Bugs to pick me one up, but um, if not, I'm going to be all over this. This thing is going to be a pain in the ass to find, but I'm going to find it. Because with these figures, we'll have a complete Uncanny X-Force team. We got these guys right here, <clears throat> we got Deadpool coming out, and we got uh, we already have the Phantom X, so that'll be sick. Um, I'm pretty hyped about this, I know everyone is, um, but yeah, this is going to be hot. Alright, so here's some close-up pics that Boog just posted. He found them somewhere, I don't know. Um, this figure looks pretty sick. Uh, they're saying uh, that it's the Series 6 Wolverine torso. I can't really tell um, from this angle, at least. It seems kind of like that. Um, someone else said it was Steve Rogers' legs. It doesn't really seem like it at all. Um, but yeah, someone else thought this was a Dakin head. No, this is a brand new head sculpt. Um... I think he looks nice. He looks good overall. Uh, I like the articulation. It looks good for a Wolverine figure. It looks pretty nice. Archangel looks sick. He's got pretty much the Bucky Cap mold. Um, even the hands are Bucky Cap. Um, which I guess it's not that bad. Um, the wings look sick though. Um, this thing is definitely going to be beast. Um, uh, and then here's Psylocke. She looks pretty nice. Uh, the paint looks decent. Um, I don't know why, but it looks a little bit somehow plain, 
which is weird because it is plain, but it looked better on the other figures. I don't know. I really like this A bomb or er, Abomination. I'm pretty sure A bomb is a different character, but I never really knew much about the character. At least um, I don't know much about Hulk characters at all. Um, this is obviously a nice Hulk figure. Um, but I think I like the Abomination more. It's got more articulation. Um, the only thing that's really missing, the A-bomb that is, is a wrist swivel. Um, neither of them have a ankle swivel, which would have been nice, but uh, they both have like pivot and whatnot. I guess they basically have the same articulation. The A-bomb just has uh, more, more range in his hips. I, I'm gonna call him a bomb anyway, guys. I just realized it, but um, he's got more range in his hips, um, a little bit more range in his biceps or in his uh shoulders. I feel like, as well as uh double jointed knees, um, but otherwise their articulation is pretty similar. And at least a bomb's got fists. He's got two fists, um, which <laughs> two fists are better than uh two kind of semi open hands. Like that's not really a fist, and that's the closest you're gonna get with this Hulk. But uh, yeah. I never really went over this figure when I got him. Um, I'll consider going over him soon. Just made this Venom, or well, this Spidey Web. I already had this one pre-made. Um, yeah, this figure is kind of a pain in the ass because of his uh, lack of an ab crunch. He's got the ab articulation, but it doesn't really go forward or backwards at all. So it's just like another waist swivel, basically. Um, so yeah, that's kind of lame, but uh. Still a decent figure overall. Putting back together my classic Avengers display. Um, I think it's going by decent right now. I barely see him, but I got Hawkeye up there on a giant man's shoulder. And this works, I guess. Nah. Um, but yeah. It's a, uh, it's not bad. I got to fill in a spot right here, and someone can go right here. Maybe even two people. Um, but yeah, I got plenty of people to put in. I got Vision, um, Falcon. This isn't the Falcon I want to use. I don't have my uh, modern or my classic Falcon right now. Got Black Panther. I want to put in there. I've got Scarlet Witch, War Machine, Wasp. Um, I got my Ant-Man right here. Um, I've got my mini Ant-Man, the little tiny one. He's in there. Um, you can see him. Um, I'm not sure I like the placement of him right now. But uh, I want to maybe try and do some still motion with him and the regular Ant-Man. We'll see. We'll see if I can do anything with that. <sighs> it's, a bit, it's a bit hectic, but... um. I'm happy with it. It's just a nice way to store all my classic Avengers. The only figure that I'm not really happy... Well, there are only like two figures that I'm not happy about having in here. And that's Black Panther because I've only got one of them. And uh, Wonder Man because I only have one of that version. So now I only have the the Ionic version to mess around with. Um, otherwise, eh, that Hulk is pretty cool. I like that Hulk and I like the jacket I got on him. That's from the, the jacket's from the Series 1 Hulk, I believe, um, variant. I think it actually came out during Series 2, but it was technically the Series 1 variant, or running change, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it, I guess. Uh, Vision, I actually kind of cut a hole in his uh, cape so he could uh, fly there on the flight stand. I didn't mind too much. I thought it was uh, actually like kind of a fix to the figure. It helped him out a bit. It's not a huge hole. Like, it's not actually a circle, which it should be, but, you know. Um, Hawkeye, he fell uh, a few minutes back, about 15 minutes ago. He fell back there, and he's a bitch to get out. Almost knocked over everything. I would have been pissed. And if it had knocked over everything, I would have just left it. Because uh, when shit like that happens, I just get so pissed. So, um, yeah, War Machine, I don't really like his pose. Um. It would have been better if you were shooting at Hulk, but that turret, I'm sorry, it kind of sucks. It only really aims down. 
like it can't be adjusted really so that's kind of lame and then wasp pose is weak as hell but whatever um see a bit of the gray fading through because that is my custom green hulk the real green hulk the real first appearance green hulk uh is supposed to have an angry face but uh i never got that one i just had two of the gray ones and did a repaint um Yeah, not much else to say, I guess. Um, actually, while I was doing this display, my She-Hulk's hair came off. Um, so, I might need a new She-Hulk. Mine was squeaky in the torso area anyway, so... I don't know. I think it's just a decent way to store some of my classic Avengers. I don't mind too much about uh, characters like Miss Marvel. Because, I mean, I've got two of Miss Marvel. Cap's okay, because I've got the face off. As well as the ultimate, which can be used. Scarlet Witch is just a shitty figure, so I don't mind. The Iron Man, I don't mind, because I've got the Hasbro Classic one. Um, I've got two Beasts. Um, I only have one of the regular Visions. I've got a Phasing Vision, too. But, uh, yeah. Falcon. I don't have a Classic Falcon right now. Um, I was trying to get one for my boy, but I uh, kept on missing out on it. So, I'll get it eventually, uh, you know. Um, I do need another Wonder Man because Junior screwed me over on this one. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. But, uh, yeah, I, I do need another Wonder Man just because mine, you can kind of, well, you might not be able to tell, but that bicep is messed up. Um, my Ant-Man, you can sort of see him down there. He fell, and um, it's not really worth going in there to fix, in my opinion at least. So he's probably just going to stay there. And, um, yeah, I guess these are my classic Avengers. Um, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Actually, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it there for a long ass time. But uh, I'd be willing to bet money that it, something will fall over by tomorrow. I'm not going to bet you guys anything, but uh, I'm guessing that it'll fall over at some point in this week. Um, which by the way, today is uh, it's really late Wednesday right now. It's almost Thursday, and this is probably gonna be close to the end of the episode i gotta stop filming because i filmed a lot of shit this week well not that i filmed a lot but i filmed stuff that took a long time like see this i just spent five minutes talking about this um yeah the only figure actually i ended up getting in every uh, uh my bad um i was going to put in the ant-man six inch figure but that was the only figure that i didn't end up being able to get in here um Vision, I was really happy to get him up there. Um, I had worked on this display about a month ago in this spot. Um, I didn't show it, I don't think, at all on film. Um, but uh, I was working on it, and I went for the same idea with Vision. I've got him on the uh, it's the Daredevil 2-pack. I think it's the Daredevil. No, it's the Face Off Punisher 2-pack uh, um, base. Um, and I've got him and Falcon on one of those. And um, initially I had Giant Man in this corner. And I had Hulk punching with the other hand and stuff. Um, with Beast was still in the same position though. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Oh, but I tried to get Vision up there with the same idea in like a flying pose. Like flying towards Hulk. And he fell and he knocked over Giant Man, he knocked over Hulk, he knocked over Beast, he knocked over everyone in this play. Which, I mean, it was kind of close to the early stages, but uh, it's still taken me a, a, a little bit of time to set up to that point. So I was just so pissed, I just kind of said, screw it, and uh, scrapped it until now. And now I just did it. I don't actually know why. It just kind of, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to finish this play off, whatever. Um... Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of mad that I put that Hulk shirt on there. Um, I think it looks nice there, but I would have liked to use it, you know. But I think it looks really nice on this figure. Not so. It looks kind of lame on the face-off uh, Hulk, but uh, yeah, I've been rambling. Um, next thing to do is up here, I'm going to work on uh, Spider-Man villains. I got my Kingpin, got my Rhino. You guys can barely see it. It is dark in this part of my room. Um, got... Sandman, um, Scorpion right there, um, Spidey of course, I got my Constrictor, um, those are the only guys I've got out right now, but, uh, I'm probably gonna work on that sometime soon, and then I still got 
that whole area where I've got like all the destroyed pieces and stuff like that. I just got my modern Thor laying in there. I was gonna do something with him and Taskmaster, but uh, I didn't get to it. I might still do it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this for now. No cutouts because this is gonna be one of my uh little displays that I just keep um at all times. So I'm not gonna put any cutouts in there. Um, probably gonna take that down in a minute soon. But uh. Yeah.